What's up, everyone? Another Void back with more Game Dev Tycoon, Episode 9. So we just, uh, last time we left off, we just started development of Dragon Dragonborn 6, Dawn of Time, our longest and most successful running series because we just made a new engine, um, and this is what I always like to do, and this kind of helps me. Basically, the reason I, well, one of the reasons is this is fun, but the other real reason is, uh, the better reason is because once I release a new engine, this always tells me when I started off on a new engine. I can tell, like, I don't make sequels two times off the same engine, things like that, which are really, really kind of screw everything up. So let's get back to development here. Oh, I need to turn the game sound off. I forgot to do that last time. Uh, music off. So hopefully that, that won't screw up the other video. I, I don't know because I didn't look, actually. So we're doing a, a fantasy RPG, so we want it pretty much like that. We already know how this works. Okay, we need more story options, apparently. Branching story. There we go. Video playback. We don't even need that. Because we can't use it. So, we're doing good. Okay, there we go. So, we're going to put me... Yeah, we're all, I'm already doing design for that. Um, we got Wesley Black working out. We got our new guy for design. We can do the next one, I think. Um, wow, Wesley Black has killer design. That's awesome. Maybe we should use him on the next thing. Let's put Alexander Morgan on this instead. Chris Maley's doing the engine. Probably a good idea. Um, so I'm going to go after large games. And um, for large games, you need to have... I was kind of doing the research. I think it's like 250,000 fans. Somebody said 500,000. But I really need six people. Because when you put something, someone on something, it kind of eats their whole, almost their whole bar. So you really need a lot of people uh, to do this, to do a large game. But it develop, generates a lot more cash, and I think... Let's do a large booth this time for Dragonborn 6. Um, but I think it's worth it. And we got people needing vacations, but, you know, it's not too bad right now. So I'm not going to put any product placement in. I don't think it's a good idea. And I think you get evil points anyway. And you only get 200k, so I, I have millions, bro. Why would I do that? So dialogues off the charts, artificial intelligence, dead. Let's do AI companions. That's better, actually, because this we can do com easily. So we want to do that. We want to do it like that. Better dialogues. We need another dialogue thing, apparently, for our RPGs. So for this one, we're going to put Wesley Black on that right there. And we'll put uh, Chris Maley on this. Wow, we're going to have lots of extra space here. And artificial intelligence. We'll put Arthur, Arthur B. He's already on it. All right, let's hit it. Dragonborn 6. Oh, man. This it better be good. This better be a big hit. Oh, it is. Look at the design. I think it's going to be huge. Technology, not so hot. But then again, this is an RPG. Why do these guys do this? They wait till we start a new game. Then, well, I know that every year they're going to need a vacation about the same time. And I, I still develop a game. So it's me being dumb. All right, world design, we're going to put our new dude. He's going to be awesome. We're going to take Nether kind of off this. We'll put Chris Maley on this. Graphics. Sound. We could probably do, yeah, let's just do stereo sound. Let's do rich rich backstory. All right, that looks good. I think it's still going to be a big hit. Dragonborn 6, because our design is pretty good. Tech is not so great, but that's fine. we got people really needing vacations. Probably going to hit their boost just to spend their... So they can at least produce what they normally would have produced. 630,000. Very nice. So we're going to hit... Okay, great. 66. Hit the boosts. There we go. And we'll hit Nether's boost. This should make this thing really huge. The Xbox 360 is out. Yay. All right, cool. That means PlayStation 2 is probably going to be dying soon. There we go. That boosted it. Even though our dudes are crap right now. Wow, someone posted a 5. I think it was Chris Maley. What a badass. This will get Alexander Morgan over to level 5 when we get him boost. Nice amount of research now. We need to get Nether to be a specialist. And I need to do some research probably after this episode. We can send these guys on vacation right now. Um, on the research lab. Because I don't want to walk in there not knowing anything about it. So let's send everyone on vacation. We're going to have a little bit of bubbles coming out. Not too much. Another void makes a bug because he's an idiot. Okay, the hype was just about to start to die. And double new record. Dragonborn 6, Dawn of Time. Never letting us down. Good management bonus. Oh, he... Okay, we need a few more games before he's level 5. Arthur B. Almost getting beat by the new guy. Actually, the new guy has better stats than Arthur B. I should fire Arthur B. 
Just got so much training to do. I could just spend like a million and get a better guy. It would save me on research points. Alright, so Dragonborn 6 Dawn of Time is out. Lots of new research to do, which really sucks for us. Man, it really sucks. We should get... We should get Netherwood that training. We have a hundred research. Let's do let's see how much research there's available now. Oh my god, look at it all. This is why you get a research thing. They're all oh those are cheap. Mod support and save to cloud. Let's get mod support. Let's look at what first reviews are in. Oh my god! Here it is again. We're beast. We're beast. Dragonborn 6, never letting us down. Big blockbuster. Oh my god, is it going to be all 10s? I've never had an all 10 game. Nope, it's got to, somebody has to have a 9, right? <laughs> Please get a 10. Thank you, there it is. Dragonborn 6, Dawn of Time, going to be raking us in the cash. Let's look at doing some more... We can't get that. We can get, this is what they're talking about though. We should just get that. Let's train him into specialists. Let's just get it now. We just made a new engine. We don't need to train something else. We're going to be at training on, um, we're going to get training on research. Let's not use up our training points though. So that's pretty awesome. Dragonborn six ton of time raking us in the dough. That's pretty awesome since, um, we just moved into this new place and, and the cost is killing us. We need one more guy. We're going to hire him fairly soon because Alexander is actually not, not doing too bad. That has racked up over 1 million in sales. If the game were a music record, it would have been platinum. Yep, awesome. So I think what we're going to do is an action game, just to make sure we don't blow it. We're waiting for Nether Void to get his specialty. We can now open a research lab. Not doing it yet, okay? Um, I'm waiting to the next episode. I need to do some research first, because I don't want to blow it and spend up to all, tons of cash. That's not too bad, so that's good. But we have to hire people, and I don't know what to look for, and I've never done the research lab. So I'm going to wait till episode uh, 10 to do the research lab. So not yet. Xbox 360 is out. Another memorable, ga memorable, memorable game by Void Studios has been released. Its character dialogues in this game are just outstanding. Rarely will you be so captivated in a conversation. Well, what can I say? Stop reading, start playing. Yeah, that's awesome. So everybody's ready to rock. What was I going to do? I, sh I can't spend their boosts. Let's look at developing sequel. Kind of need a new game. We need research points. Let's do a pirate game. What kind of games does pirate the pirate ones like? I think it's adventure. Adventures are never really very good for us on every. We could do this on PlayStation Two, which is going to be discontinued soon, probably. We're going to develop a new game in the off season here, a medium game. Um, let's see, for everyone, it's going to be pirate transport. Have we ever done transport? I don't think we have transport. Oh, wow, it has two things, simulation and strategy. Nice. Yeah, we're going to do, like, Euro European trucker or whatever, you know. Pirate adventure game on the PlayStation 2, which still has really good market share. We need to use that license. The new bridge engine, too. Pretty awesome. We're going to call this thing... It's a new pirate adventure game. Um, Black Sails. That's going to be awesome. Basically, it's going to be a, sh a pirate ship game. Um, where it's all about upgrading your cannons, sinking other ships, and collecting the booty. Everybody likes booty, right? Not just pirates. I like booty. Do you? <laughs> you respond in the comment section. So, starting off, already a good start, except five bugs. Okay, so what are we doing? It's an adventure game. Adventure! Um, that comes from some kind of cartoon. I'm not really sure. Adventure. Gameplay can be whatever. Stories and quests needs to be off the charts. We're going to leave it as is. Stories and quests, we're going with branching. We need more story options. Video playback. Okay, we're looking good right here. Nether Void's on story. Isn't he a world design guy? Isn't that his specialty? I wish it would tell you right here, like, world design specialty. That's what I got him, right? So why don't we put somebody else on it? Let's put Wesley Black on that. We'll save Nether for the world design. Which, um, we... Well, world design's going to be pretty crappy, but that's okay. He's the specialist, right? So we're going to go with that. He is a... Right? Let me look. No. 
No, he's got it. He's a specialist, but he could get. He's not. Okay, we could have put him on that. It's fine. It's not a big deal. So hype's already jumping way up because we have 214. We might not even need to do any contracts. I was going to do a large contract probably, but maybe we don't need it. Okay, so development two is dialogues crap, level design, and artificial intelligence. Kind of like this. Better AI. Let's do it. Let's do it like that. I think this looks good. We're going to save Nether for, wait, graphics can sound, or we need him, him on, huh? This is our graphic guy, Chris Maley. Let's make Nether do this. We'll, we'll save Chris Maley for the, for the graphics. That looks good. We really need to get one more guy and start doing large games, because we're just blowing stuff for no reason now. Everybody's boost is back. That's good, except Nether's. He's almost done. And then we're going to get... Wait... The times... Oh, no, they're not done with their times two. I think Chris Maley should have his times two, right? Let's get... Uh, world design needs to be whatever you want, but graphics needs to be insane, and sound needs to be really good. World design, so let's take off Rich Backstory. Can we take off Day and Night Cycle? No. All right, so this is pretty good. We got Chris Maley on graphics. Nether Void's on sound. Hey, that's good. Okay. I don't understand what Design Specialist does. It doesn't seem like... Does it give me a boost? I'm going to have to look up that, too. Um, or does it just unlock the Research Lab? That's kind of odd. Oh, we need to hype this game, too. All right, so let's let's go with that, and then we're going to hype the game with some marketing. We're going to do a small campaign for this, which doesn't seem like it's all that worth it, but, I mean, it's still good. And then we're going to send our, uh, Alexander on vacation. You can train more than one. Additional specialists decrease the overall running cost of your lab. Oh, okay. That's what that does. I'm glad it told me. Alexander needs vac vacation bad. Okay, so let's send him now. And then everybody has times two boost, so that's good. 21 million in sales. We're at month one. But I don't think we need to worry. We need to. We can just wait a second. We can release the game, and then we can do training. I kind of think we should just start training now. Let's start training Nether. Train him in world design? 200 RP. We don't have that. We almost do. We can do this. Boost max level 3. Not yet. Actually, Nether has good skills. We don't, we're going to burn him on a game, I think. Let's get... So how much does it cost for that? Wasn't it like 5 million? Design specialist, 5 million. Let's get him design specialist. Um, let's spend... Let's get... I wonder if we can get nine points from, from Game Jam. Maybe if we burn his boost. That's the one you get technology and design. Um, yeah, let's try it. Burn your boost. Burn it, go! There we go. Chris Maley, let's train you too. Let's do... Okay, he needs Code Jam again. He's not even close yet. Burn your bit thing here. Oh, we're still working it out? And release. It's time. I don't know why we waited so long. No new combo. No double anything, but a trend match. Oh my god, 2.1 times. That's awesome. But this is not going to be... Black Sails is not going to be a big blockbuster for us, but that's okay. Alright, let's get some training for this dude. He needs to get... He's our design guy, right? No, he's our tech guy. His speed's not that great, but it doesn't matter. Code Jam. And we'll train this dude in design. Actually, he needs speed training. So we'll do time trials for him. No, 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 wait. Oh, he's not level 5 yet. Black Sails. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think it was going to do very good. All we need really is like a 6 or so to kind of stay afloat. And we're getting in research points. Um, I don't know why it wasn't a big hit. Maybe because Adventure? I don't know. Well, it's a solid 6, so that's not horrible. What's Nether doing? What kind of re new topics do we have? Vampire! Oh, that's cool. I really want to do Vampire. Strong audience for everyone. But I want it to be... I want that to be, um... A mature game. Let's look at what Vampire has. Action and RPG. Yeah, pretty much. And then audiences, everyone, and mature. 
We should do a vampire RPG for E3. That's what we're going to do. But everyone's the strong audience. We don't care. We, it's just a bonus. It's not a big deal. Then on the off-season, we'll do that transport game. Oh, we got to research it, right? Duh. Start the research. Oh, new topic. Vampire. That's going to be awesome. So, the Wii. That's going to be awesome. The Wii sucks. I hate the Wii. It's just like a kid thing. It's all about kids and crap. So, Chris Maley can get boost. Or no, he can get tech specialist now. Should we get it? That way I can open the other thing. Let's get that for Chris Maley. And then he needs speed training. We'll get everyone to 400. Except to hit the design, we don't need that. But we need speed and research to at least be 400. I need, I need at least research to be 400. So let's spend our tech. Let's get a technology specialist. No, we don't want that. Um, we want that soon though, because I think it, I think it lowers the the research point cost, or maybe it just they you just get research points or something. That'd be cool. Again, I need to do the research. I don't know. So we need to start a new game soon. Wow, you need to hurry, Chris Manley. We're kind of waiting on you, buddy. But we have a little bit of time, so I'm not that worried. Black sales still out, making us some money at least, keeping us afloat. And we've got. A design specialist. We want a large booth. We always get a large booth. We're doing a new game this year, guys. We're not going to do Dragonborn. We've got a new game coming out. This one is going to be a vampire RPG. It's going to be awesome. And it's going to be on the PC. We're going to call this... not going to call it Masquerade. That's the vampire well, RPG uh, book game or whatever. We're going to call this... Hmm... Night, Night's Kiss... Knight's Kiss. Yeah. Vampire RPG. Uh, it's going to be a medium game. It's for, it's for mature. It's going to be Vampire RPG. And it's going to be for the PC. On the Bridge Engine 1, which is still really new. Um, on old graphics, kind of. We need a new graphics engine probably for our next engine. We need to keep up. Yeah, see. Oh, okay. One game for 3.8 million. It did pretty good for us. So there we go. These guys are going to need vacations, as always. I need to get them off that. I'm going to wait a little bit so I can get them to need vacations after we're done developing. So maybe I'll send them on vacation, like, in week eight or something. So engine... Oh, this is perfect. Exactly what we want right here. We're going to put me on stories and quests, though. And Alexander and Morgan... Yeah, that looks good. This is looking good. Okay, we like it go. Knight's Kiss should be pretty good. We're good at RPGs. They're our wheelhouse game. Um, everybody's looking pretty awesome. Let's burn nethers. I guess we kind of waited too long to burn it, but that's okay. Yeah, see, I should have not done that, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> that was actually crappy. So, let's do that. Better dialogues, dialogue tree, level editor. Um, nether void on level design? I thought Wesley Black was going to do... Oh, he's doing dialogues. Okay. Alexander and Morgan. So this is going to burn me up pretty much. Let's do... Let's do like this. We'll use me on that last one. So, there we go. Big... Another large booth. Definitely worth it. Getting us tons of exposure for our new game, Night's Kiss. Brand new Vampire RPG. 700 grand visiting our place. Let's burn some... No, um, let's not burn some boosts. Oh, Nether Void's still boosting. That's cool. Wow, this is gonna be giant! Wow, look at the bubbles come out! That's gotta be from speed. They're all on at... They're all on speed. So, world design needs to be like that. We're gonna put me on that. Actually, graphics and then sound on it is pretty much crap. So, we want rich backstory for this thing. And there are more... No more graphics things. That's kinda weird. Um, actually, there might be. We need a graphics upgrade. So we want Nether Void on this. Nope, that's too much. Oh, because I was doing something else. So let's get me on that. We'll get Chris Maley. Oh, okay. We'll get Alexander Moore. No, Arthur B. on this. We're not going to get the bonus. We don't have any other good design people. Yeah, he can't do that. Um, we could put Chris Maley on this and me on this. Mm, that'll work. His design is not very good, but that's okay. Go. I think we should burn... No, let's not burn boosts. 
Market is normalized. I knew it would. Vampire RPG Knight's Kiss. It's going to be pretty good. We got a new, at least a new record in design, I think. Wow, look at the bubbles fly out. This is ridiculous. And we got lots of hype from E3, large booth. Nobody needs vacations this time. That's awesome. Okay, so the Wii's out. That's great. Yay, we don't care. Can you send people on vacations even though they don't need one? No, we're not doing it. Nope. Can't send them on vacation while they don't need one. That'd be awesome if you just send them after you do a game, you know? Look at 171 research. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go. We're not going to wait too much longer here. Double new record. New top. Oh, my God. New topic, new combo. Great combo. Good, good management. This is awesome. Good. Arthur B. now can get boost as well. Alexander Morgan, one more game. He'll get boost. This was really big time for him as well. Nether Void, get, I get level 8, which I think it op opens up something new. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Arthur B., let's get him boost. Boost is very, very important. Only he needs design. He needs his tech, right? Code jam. He can't even get it yet. Knight's Kiss. Gonna be huge. Big score for us. Nine. Very awesome. Uh, RPGs are easy for us. But it was a new new combo and everything. Great combo course because we cheated, kind of. We knew it would be. And these are good scores. A ten. That's awesome. That means, means, means we have a straight up nine right here. This is gonna make us big, big money. So at 8.75, that's awesome game. We got a new IP. That's awesome. So let's look at training for now for level 8. Pretty much the same. We need to do world design with this guy, but we don't have enough yet. When we get large games, we definitely need to specialize. Um, people's boosts are kind of ready. I know Chris Maley's is ready. Let's train him. He needs speed. His speed is abysmal time trials. Your speed is horror bad, buddy. Let's boost him. Let's do, um, train Alexander Morgan in design. His other scores are pretty good. His speed could be better, but until we get him to 700, probably don't need to boost up speed anymore. So let's get him Pixel Cup. And then I don't like to boost when it's not up to two. Oh, he's needing vacation anyway. Look at the speed go. That's awesome. Knight's Kiss, awesome, yes. Knight's Kiss is doing great for us. And looks like Arthur needs a vacation, too. Okay, oh, he's on vacation. And Chris is needing a vacation, okay. Yes, that's right. Um, let's do... Let's get some graphics. What? Let's get graphics version 3. We're going to start really having problems here. If we don't. Are there any graphics thing? Oh no, just the new graphics. Start researching new graphics. Let's send Chris on vacation. We need a new, a new game soon. Arthur B. also needs to go on vacation. The world design is at its best. Brave, imaginative, and unapologetic. Following its incredible artistic vision. Knight's Kiss really deserves the top spots in the charts. Rank 8. Let's see how high it actually got. We haven't looked at our game history in a while. Knight's Kiss, very awesome game, reached up to rank 6. Black Sails, not very good. Still made money, at least. Um, I don't know why it did so bad. We did everything correctly. I think maybe some people needed to go on vacation or something. Dragonborn 6, Dawn of Time, obviously a huge monumental, monumental blockbuster. I'm sorry, surprised it didn't reach top spot, though. Rank 1. Uh, Shank Nasty 2 ship did pretty good. Area 51, wow. Horrible, at least it made us money still. Evolution 4. We should do another Evolution game. Um, that's an RPG, right? No, Sci-Fi Adventure. Actually, we need to do an RPG now. Let's look for an RPG to do. We haven't done our hacking game. We can do a casual game. We don't have any other ones? That's odd. We need another RPG. Well, we just made a new RPG uh, IP. We actually do need, we need something else, don't we? we need a, maybe a casual game. Maybe we should do speed. Speed always does good for us. We haven't done speed in a while. Speed 2 around the world was an 8. Let's do speed 3, I think. What's the, there is no special topic thing right now. So Knight's Kiss, brand new IP. This is going to be a great IP for us because it's an RPG. So we're going to do speed 2 once everybody's done here. Or speed 3, sorry. And let's get some training here because we got to send that one dude on vacation so it's going to be a while let's get let's get wesley black 
We could do another design specialist. Well, we don't have a hundred. Why don't we get him some research training? And then we'll get speed. There we go. Hurry up, Arthur. What are you waiting on here? Um, can we do boost with this dude? Oh, he just got no. He he can get boost after one more game, Pog probably. So let's get um, let's send him on vacation, and we'll have Nether research another thing. There's one of them that was for 15. I think it's like cloud services or something. Mod support. Another engine thing here. Everybody's kind of just chilling. We're about to release a new game. There we go. Um, not everybody's back yet. Nether. Oh, you can just do this. Oh, it was still going. That was weird. All right, so we're ready to go. Let's do develop sequel. And we're going to do speed three, all right? So we'll do speed two around the world. We're going to select this. We're going to say it's racing casual for young, speed three. Um, this one's going to be called <laughs> Carmageddon. Carmageddon! <laughs> they actually said this for when uh, uh, this one huge LA freeway was, was going to be down right in the middle of the day, like for three weeks. Um, it was like a major commuting one. And they said it was going to be Carmageddon down there because the traffic was going to be so bad. And actually, traffic didn't turn out to be so bad. I heard from people that I know that live down there. So Carmageddon on the GS, really good um, market share still. It's probably going to be going off the market fairly soon. The new bridge engine one, it's actually not very new. It's getting a little old now. Regular graphics here. Nether's boost is up. We're going to use his boost for development. So this is a casual game, right? So casual looks like pretty much like this. Gameplay off the charts. Let's put Wesley Black on gameplay. Branching story, engine, multiplayer, and gameplay. A lot, a lot of gameplay. There we go. So let's. We're gonna burn. Ne uh, we'll put me on something on the next one. PlayStation Three. I knew it. We're getting. Yeah. See, we're getting old. It's getting pretty old. Thirty is pretty much the max. So we need to hurry up. Um. Blah blah blah. Yeah, that's great. We'll burn Nether's boost on the next thing here. Someone has stolen our credit card information and used it to buy a lot of things in the past three months. Okay. Is that, oh, wow, he just posted an 11. Chris Maley is a beast. He just posted an 11. 21 million in sales. That's what I'm talking about. No. We'll do that next episode. Okay, so we're going to get Nether Void in here. We're going to get me in here on level design. Actually, AI needs to be max. We'll get level design to here. Better AI. Dialogues. Let's do that. Dialogue tree. We're going to get me on level design. We'll get Alexander Morgan on the last one. So this is looking good. Arthur B. Um, let's get Chris Maley on artificial intelligence. He's our big tech guy. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Oh, burn Nether's boost. There we go. Big numbers, Nether. Big numbers. Bigger than that. Than that. Your numbers are bad. <laughs> Carmageddon. It's going to be pretty good for us. That's pretty nice. Um, let's see. Oh, I looked at the wrong one. Casual does not like a lot of AI. It likes hardly any AI. Damn it. World design off, graphics, and sound. Well, I'm sure it'll still turn out pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, let's do it like that. There we go. So, we don't want Nether on that. We're going to put this dude on graphics. It should still be pretty good. I don't know. We might post up something bad just because um, we did the AI completely wrong. So hopefully that's not going to kill the game, but it might. So we need some. somebody needs a vacation already. Let's do that because we're coming up on E3 again. And that's pretty much going to be the end of this. Oh, let's hype the game. Let's do a small campaign. Um... That's going to pretty much do it for this this episode, though, episode 9. And I'm going to do that research off camera and figure out what I need to do. And then we'll come back for E3 next year and produce, hopefully, a monstrosity. And I'm going to cut it right here. I'm going to cut it right here because every time we release it, you see all the numbers and stuff. We'll see what Carmageddon does on the next episode. As always, everyone, stay frosty.